Hello, I'm Raghu, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Kubernetes Metrix server and horizontal pod autoscaler on Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service cluster. Let's get started. I have a running EKS cluster. So let's determine if the current user can perform any actions in any namespace by running this command. Because we received a S, we know that we can perform deployments in any namespace. Now that we have confirmed that we have full permissions on our EKS cluster, let's deploy the metric server. Let's see if there are enough permissions for metric server to run on our EKS cluster. Because we don't have any issues, let's deploy the metric server. Let's validate if metric server pods are running correctly in our EKS cluster. We can see that metric server pods are in the running status. Now let's create a sample PHP Apache deployment to test an HPA use case. Now let's create a sample PHP Apache deployment to test an horizontal pod autoscaler use case. Now let's verify if PHP Apache deployment pods are in running status. We can see that currently we have one PHP Apache pod running. So let's set the CPU request on containers by running this command. Let's verify the PHP Apache pods that are running in our deployment. Let's check if the given CPU value is set on the container level or not. We must make sure that the right CPU value is consumed by the pod so that the horizontal pod autoscaler scales the pods correctly. Let's expose the PHP Apache deployment as a service by running the following command. Let's check if cluster IP has been created. As you can see, PHP is running as a service with a cluster IP. So we can now create horizontal pod autoscaler service for PHP. Let's confirm if horizontal pod autoscaler is created for PHP service. In this step, let's create a load on PHP pods that were created using PHP Apache deployment by running this command. As you can see, this command opened a shell for us to run commands or scripts. Let's run a busy loop on this pod to generate load. Now, let's exit from this pod. First, let's break the loop execution using Control C to cancel the loop. And then Control D to exit the pod interactive section. Now, let's check if horizontal pod autoscaler scaled the PHP Apache deployment to handle the load that we created by running this command. We can see that replicas for the deployment were increased, which means the number of pods that were running increased. Now let's delete all the resources that we created. So now you know how to set up Kubernetes metrics server and horizontal pod autoscaler on Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service cluster. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.